Well, Houston, Texas has been a huge market for the UFC of late, and no surprise, we are back and now underway here from Toyota Center in the H-Town. Nice punch by Alir Latif. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Oh, effective strike there by Latif. Landing a good series of strikes here. Oh, he got cracked. They're going after it quick here. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that bears watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Big right with hand. the right hand. Both guys landing with conviction now. Oh, big left. Hard straight punch. Oh, he is just teeing off here. Oh, big uppercut to the head. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Two minutes have expired in our opening. Oh, nice. Oh! He's got him hurt here. And there he swung with a haymaker. Hit him hard with that hook. He hurt him with that hook. And now he lands a combination. Oh, he's going for it here. Oh! He's doing a very nice job protecting his head here. And he connects with the punch. Slips that left hand. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Alil Latif. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Starts to get the combination going with the fist. He's doing a really good job of timing these shots. Going to the body there with the right kick. Oh, hook to the head by Latif. Blocked all the shots coming towards his head. Oh, nice strike landed there by Alir Latif. Working off the jab, it's good. Oh, he is throwing that right, right with fight ending intentions. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Hard hook. He is going after it here. Latifi gets caught with that punch. Both guys landing big shots. Huge oh, left hand. That left hand, Joe. Oh, very nice. Hard left hand. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Oh, beautiful hook. Vicious combinations. Right on the button. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Nice jab. Wow. So a strong five minutes down. Oh, how about the end of that round? He got knocked down just before the horn, saved by the bell. So now back to the stool. He has only 60 seconds to recover. We'll see if physically he can keep himself in this fight. We've trained for this before. I want you to relax and go out. Let's take a look at some of the action from this round. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. And here we see it from another angle. Brittany Palmer doing fine work as usual. Start this round off fast and try to pick oh. up where he left off. Oh, he got clipped there. He got hurt. Oh, he might be out. Lands a giant kick. Punch coming. It's blocked. Oh! Well, don't fix what's not broken. Wow! Attempts a big hook 
to the head, but misses. Oh, he brought that offense, Joe. Lands a punch. Oh, nice job of avoiding oh! the clutch. Oh, he is clearly in big, big trouble here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Big body shot. Body. Oh! Back up. Try to establish that jab. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. Oh! He's rocked. Oh, big left hook there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt! He's hurt! Big shots! Nice leg kick. Nasty combinations here. Oh, wow. Oh! oh, he's hurt! That one dropped him! If he gets up, but the question is for how long he looks wobbly. Well, he left his body wide open there for that hook shot, Joe, and he paid for it. He is leaning in. I know he's got the guard high, but that means it looked like it did stun him a little bit. It's oh, he's out! He's out! He's out! Unbelievable! What power that guy has in his hands. Well, Joe, you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And here's the end. All right, let's go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer had...